Okay, trying to get an early jump on the day. It's uh, 1120, 11.25, when did that happen? Okay, maybe not so early, but it's 92 degrees outside. And I'm, I gotta go pick up my empty trailer and my storage unit. I gotta go pick up the Razor, then go back to the storage unit, empty everything out, and then be on my way out of Yuma to get to Phoenix, which is almost like saying I'm going from the frying pan into the fryer from one heat thing to another. But that's today. Here's Yuma. <laughs> side by side and I was mounting the sand tires on the side so that way I'll be able to carry both my sand tires and my dirt tires when I go with me. All of this is just part of the uh, the big summer tour that's happening this year so the one I keep talking about I'm really excited about. I just want to take a moment and say thanks to David you know David this this guy Yeah, I helped put the tires on the side of this rack because I was having a problem with bolts and stuff like that. He was able to figure out a solution for me. So over uh, six bud lights and a couple of trial and errors, he figured it out. So thanks, David, for your help. has automatic braking so that way if I'm like trying to push this um, when it's empty it's fine but when I put the razor on here it's heavy so that allows me to maneuver turn stop do everything all by myself all right just like that it's off to get the razor Look at it, and there she is, sitting right outside. Casey Neistat feels. All right, got it loaded up, got it tied down. Now I gotta go back to the storage unit, throw the rest of the stuff in there, like the helmets and all these other accessories that I have for it. And then, lunch. I need lunch and then I'm out of here, out of Yuma. We'll be back November-ish after Halloween, after Chasm, probably sometime. Next step, let's go. I don't mind towing the trailer, but every once in a while I have to, I'm always looking in my back. It reminds me when I was towing the my toad. Just like that, it's all cleaned out. I'm pretty handy with my little telescoping room here. And and then and this folds down and you got the little this pan and it just snaps into place just like that. I'm gonna get some photos for myself just to show that it's all clean. And that's it.
All right. So I want to talk to you guys about something really exciting. Now, you know, I always think that the RV life, the van life, is all about community. One of the reasons why I'm still on the road going into my third year is because of the community that is just amazing. So cooperative, so this. And you know, I when I started RVing, I met up with the Escapers group, and that's where I met most of the people that I still hang out with today. But now as times have come and gone, people kind of go back and forth. Some are part-timing, some are full-timing, some are, you know, whatever. Th things change. I mean, that happens. But the one thing that doesn't change is that you always need to be building community on the road. So that's why, as you're planning your summer travel schedule and even into the fall, I want to talk to you about Chasm Fest. Now, you heard me talk about this last year. Chasm is a camping, health, arts, sports, and music festival that's happening Halloween weekend in Lake Havasu, Arizona. I was there last year with a whole bunch of people. The producer of Chasm Fest is JP. B. Smith JP is the old uh, director of the Escapers RV uh, thing and he put on all their big convergences and just knows how to throw a wild party and I'm excited to announce that we're going to be back and doing it again this year and tickets just went on sale. Uh, use the promo code claim the vision all one word and get $10 off your ticket because this is going to be an amazing weekend of just music and fun and food and activities and entertainment. Last year was the first one. We're back at it again. It is just such a great time. Use the code claim the vision. Save your money. Get your tickets now. Bring your groups. Bring your activities. But here's the other thing, okay? If you want to come as a group and you want to kind of make your own camp, the way the chasm is is kind of a burning man meets a convergence and um, all this other kinds of stuff. So we're going to have uh, a lot of different activities, but if you wanted to kind of create your own theme camp, so to speak, like you would do it at Burning Man, you can do that here at Chasm. Well, there's so many other different activities as well. And the best part about it too, we have hot showers. There's going to be flush toilets and good restrooms and such like that. So even if you want to do car camping or tent camping, that's totally cool. We got you covered on that. So you don't need your RVs, you don't need any of those other kinds of stuff. You can come with just your camp camping gear and have a great time meeting new people. So I want you guys to mark that on your calendar for Chasm Fest. It's Halloween weekend. Go to ChasmFest.com. Use promo code CLAIMTHEVISION. Save $10 off your ticket because we're all going to be there. And I would love to meet you out there and have a great time. So mark that on your calendars. I know it's a little bit of ways, but it's going to be here before you know it. The summer is already starting to ramp up. So make that happen now. Okay, back to the program. All right, so I think I'm just about done. I'm gonna do one last walkthrough. So this is all secured, tight, ropes, chains. That's locked, it's not going anywhere. These things, I need to fix this. This is not a good, that's not a good permanent solution, but it'll do. Straps are tight. Well, this one actually came a little loose. Okay, doors are closed. Straps are good. Locked. Around here, locked. Steps are good. Fuel tanks. They're empty, but they're good. All that's pressed in. Doors closed. Strap. Oh, my water bottle. That's it. We're on our way. Yeah, I can, I can feel this extra weight. And I know that based off my toe, I can tow up to 5,000 pounds. I think I've got. 1500 to spare, but that's before the fuel and the bike racks and all that other accessories that I have. All right, I just came back to the RV part because I had to dump all that trash. And um, since I'm staying here, technically, um, I can use a dumpster. So I just did that. And no trip to Yuma is complete without a stop at probably one of my most favorite pizza restaurants. And that's what I'm gonna do for lunch. All right, the best pizza, one I grew up with, round table pizza. Look at that, yummy, yummy. I always get like an extra large whenever I'm here. This is the large, I always get a large when I'm here, uh, just so I have leftovers. This, you know me and leftovers. Think about the sauce. You are gonna hurt your beak. All right, three hours. I'm in Phoenix, but I gotta get to the other side of Phoenix. I gotta get to like Apache Junction. And um, that's going to wrap up my day. And it's been a long one. Working and doing all that stuff in 100 and something degree heat, that's not a lot of fun. So 
It's glad that's over. Okay, so it's been about a week since I finished this video and I didn't know where to end it. And this is a kind of a short one because the next one is a longer one where I get trapped in some uh, things when we take the razor out. We went through this puddle that's uh, back there yeah. and it looked innocent and whatever, we started going. So that'll be in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the YouTube algorithm as I try and grow this channel again. I would love to hear from you. Drop your information down below. Like, comment, subscribe. It's all free for you to do and helps me out immensely so much. And I just really can't thank you enough. More videos coming soon and hopefully at more frequent intervals as well. So until then, uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Claim the vision.